What's up guys, you're Inside the Edge and I'm back with another video, very early video. Um, as of right now, Cam Newton has been released from the Patriots, so I felt like, man, I have to make this video. I mean, it's super early right now, it's, it's 10.43 um, Connecticut time, but um, big news, Cam Newton, you know, everyone is going crazy, you know, I got a text, um, I was like, nah, there's no way Cam got cut, I didn't expect him to get cut. And, you know, we're, like the other day, we're, you know, a lot of us were talking about if he's going to be a starter and stuff. And, and if we, even, we were even talking, like, even if he doesn't become a starter, okay, okay, Mac Jones will be, you know, the starter and Cam will be on the bench. But for him to get cut, it's just kind of like, whoa. You know, it, it's, I didn't, I didn't expect this. And, you know, Bill Belichick, time after time, makes these decisions. So, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, have their own opinions on why Cam got cut. You know, for me personally, I think, you know, Matt Jones, he did play good in the preseason, and some people will pin that on the preseason of, you know, why Cam got cut, because Matt Jones, he really did look good, and, and Cam, he looked good himself in preseason as well, but, you know, looking at how things transpired after Brady leaving, um, you know, I think Bill Belichick was really looking for his quarterback, and Cam wasn't his quarterback. You know, this was someone that we grabbed up in the off, late in the offseason last year, but, you know, Matt Jones is a guy that Bill Belichick drafted. So this is the guy he's going to roll with. Um, you know, look, looking at how things transpired with Cam, you know, last year he threw for 2,657 yards, eight touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Um, you know, we went 7-9, and nine, just an absurd season. And this year, you know, we're reframing things. And I think Bill Belichick, you know, he wants to make that next, you know, that next chapter, that next journey of a quarterback. And Mac Jones, he feels like it's his guy. And this is the guy he, he feels is ready. Just looking at the preseason, um, just looking at how Mac Jones are, are reading his receivers, you know, dropping back, um, you know, you know, he definitely has a lot, a lot of things to work on. But I think overall, Mac Jones, I think he's our guy that we drafted. But the bigger picture of why I think Bill Belichick, in my personal opinion, why he let go of Cam is just because he sees the talent in Cam Newton. He sees the the, the leadership. He you know he he just knows what Cam is about. And I feel like Bill Belichick was kind of like on the fence of, I'm really liking Mac Jones, but I don't want to if I start him and Cam you know is on the bench, there's no growth really left for Cam I, for New England. Like he is like. Him for Cam, I feel like there's really no more growth for him if he were to sit on the bench, and I think his time will be wasted. And I think Bill Belichick knows that. I think Bill Belichick is like, okay, I would rather take my chances, and at least if our backup for, is going to be Jared Stidham, <laughs> um, but I think he feels like okay, Cam can have an opportunity somewhere else. You know, he can make more money. You know, he can have a better situation with another team, and I think that's where Bel Belichick said, okay, I'm just going to make this move to release him now because there's really no growth for Cam if he were to get benched or, or something like that because that's, at some point, we already feel that Mac Jones is going to be the, – he's the future for New England. I think everyone in New England knows that. Coaching staff knows that. So I guess Bill Belichick wanted to cut his ties now. Um, you know, But most people from an outside perspective will say, you know, Cam is trash and he sucks and all this stuff. And – I, I feel like I already made a video about that, you know, Cam, you know, even last year, just coming to New England, probably the hardest playbook you can learn as a quarterback, you know, having COVID, missing a lot of practice. There was a lot that, that went into last year and, and players opted out and, you know, our salary cap wasn't good. We couldn't afford certain players and, you know, just a lot went into that. But I think as of right now, I feel like why Cam, you know, ended up being released to just because Bill Belichick sees the potential. He sees how he could be some, he could be better elsewhere and he can make more money. And, um, you know, I think that's where everything kind of, I think that's what's, what's going on between them. And I think it's, it's a lot of respect. Like, I don't think Cam is up, is mad at Bill or I, I still think they, they're going to have a good relationship after this, but that's just my two cents. You know, I, I just think um, Bill Belichick wants to move on and really get that quarterback he really wanted because Mac Jones is a quarterback that he drafted. You know, this is a guy that he wanted, um, just like Jimmy G when he tried to run out Brady from New England. Um, it didn't, it didn't end up working out because you know Brady ended up staying another year. But you know, Bill Belichick likes to play with the guys you know he wants to play with. You know, because I mean he's a GM but also you know the coach. So um, you know, Bill Belichick, you know he makes all the best moves. He knows what's best for this team. You know he's been working with this team for about a month through training camp, through preseason games. So he knows this this team better than I than we do. You know, so um, this is the decision he's gonna make. Um, with Cam, I wish he would have played another season, just because I wanted him to prove to a lot of people that, um, you know, he's still a good quarterback. 
Um, I still think he's going to prove us elsewhere as well. I think wherever he goes, he's going to find um, he's going to find success. Um, and I won't be surprised if a team signs him right away. But the thing with Cam is just going to be a whole new reset, learning that team's offense and building that chemistry. It's, it's almost like when you when you go to school and you know you move to, you know you move school to school and you got to make new friends and you got to make new connects. It's, it's a lot, man. So it it, it just kind of sucks, but at the same time, it was, it's probably going to be for the best. You know, we're going to see how things turn out. You know, in a few months from now, and see where wherever Cam lands, and see where you know what's his potential wherever he lands. But I just want to make this quick video for you guys. Um, this is like a really this is like a real reaction video. Like it's super early, but I just want to just make this video for you guys. Tell me what you guys think about Cam getting cut. You know, what, like what do you think happened, or do you think what do you think he's gonna play next? You know, give me some insight. You know, uh, drop a comment below. Tell me what you guys think. I'll definitely interact with you guys. I definitely want to hear your opinion. On you know Cam Newton and and where he's gonna land and how good do you think Mac Jones is gonna be this year? So until next time, subscribe. More content on the way. NFL season is back. I'm ready. Just gonna drop a lot more content for you guys. Have a good one, guys. Peace.